All right, welcome back to Thronebreaker. Let's jump back into our saved game. Make another attempt at this Drowner puzzle encounter. I think I'm going to try and successfully complete three encounters before we call it for today. Let's jump right in. Uh, this is a puzzle encounter, so we have to eliminate all the Drowners, not let any of our allies die. Harder than it seems, especially if you've seen the last episode. I think we gave it three or four attempts. One round only. Alright. <clears throat> so I think the way to play this, and it kind of revolves around this crushing, crushing trap card. Set the power of each unit on this road to the average of all units' power. Then destroy self. And as we know, if they're power level is an even number, they switch rows. So we, what we want to do is hit someone on the back line with our archer. Give me a time. Let's just choose this one. So at the end of the turn, only one will switch rows and attack. Now I think we try and play Crushing Trap on this row. Which locks those down. Now we take back our archer, which will heal it at the end of the turn. Yep, there it's back to six. Play our Wagenberg. Now we play our Arbalist again. Arbalist, you Shoot this on. guy, so we've locked all of them. onto their row. <laughs> Not sure what happened there, but... Ah, eh, I'm gonna have to watch a replay or something on that. Anyways. Got any battles? Hungry like a wolf I am. can kill three dudes with that. I'd not sure. Yeah, we still didn't win. There's something funky going on. Doing much better than the previous attempt, though. I think. I still think this opening is appropriate. Okay, and we will reclaim... Play the trap here. So far this is note for note the last round, but I am trying to figure out <laughs> what happened last time, because there was something, some tactical misplay that I made. Alright, let's do this. If we deploy the wagon now rather than the Arbalist. We'll go back up here. Return on turn start. So now I think is where we deploy the Arbalist, shoot this guy. He takes two damage, not one. That's... that's what... <laughs> That's where we've gone wrong. The 
Arbalist does... We only want him to do one damage. So I think we misplayed yet again, but... Yeah, so we'll do his two damage there. Carny battles. Hungry like a wolf I am. And we can't pass because we don't... Or, we, excuse me, we can't have another turn. Otherwise he could just go up here and we could kill him on the next turn. Alright. I think I have an idea of what's going on. Arbalest the back row. Take some damage. Hit these guys with the trap. Move back there. It makes no sense to use the decoy at any other point, because we need our Arbalest on the field alone. So the, the main challenge is getting everybody onto the back row. Oh, let's do- oh, <laughs> I'm an idiot. So we play the Wagenberg here. End of the turn. Then we play the Arbalist to the back row. Much better. Can't take it anymore. Alright, we've finally done it. <laughs> Oh my god. How many attempts should that have taken? Well, it's a puzzle, and I'm infamously bad at puzzles. Some supplies, some gold. A letter found. Son, damned collectors stop by Hawksburn again, and once again we survive by the skin of our teeth, so our beloved queen can import yet another Zaracanian rug. Devils, take her, I say. Gather anything of worth in the cottage and wrap it in she greased sheepskin. Take it to the field and among the sheaves, bury it. These cursed collectors will just have to make do with what pittance we give them. So we have a treasure map. Sheaves. Decent amount of gold and supplies from this fight. Uh, let's take a look at our... well, we didn't want to make camp here. We want to look at our map. Do we have any notion of where there may be a farm field nearby? Perhaps... This area. in fact, I'm almost certain this is where we want to go. Here we go. I've discovered a card that may be used in the Gwent multiplayer game. Alright, well. Not what I'm concerned about at present. But a fun little treasure hunt. Let us... Review our current objectives. We'll make camp. Command tent. Men are at good morale. We 
can now afford Royal Treasury 1. Not convinced it's our best expense yet. Gain gold for every battle 1. Training grounds. Gain recruits. Well, we can't afford this one in any case. This one is quite expensive. This one is not too bad. It's early in the game yet, too, so being able to get more gold per battle could be really useful. New support units. War Wagon is good, as we just saw. Crushing Trap was good, as we just saw. Forager. Uh, maybe something to keep in the back pocket for now. Alright. Yes, Your Grace. Nothing it's new time to I see attended here. All right, our main objective is down here. I think we can safely check this loot on our way down. Let's get some scouts. Looks like we could comfortably check out oh, five points of interest here before reaching our destination. Get some recruits. make it over to this stack of supplies, so put a pin in that. Yeah, these wayside shrines are good for morale, but we're at top morale as it is, so. The march has taken a toll on the men. A brief sojourn at this inn would do them good. Nothing improves morale quite like live music. And a frosty mug of Viziman Champion. Viziman? Viziman. Sound idea. Um, I don't think that we need. Off to the Nocturnes, ma'am. Or to cross this bridge here. Then ride on straight as piss. Yeah. Well, this is not good. You spy that column of smoke? God damn it! Make haste! As the Clayton estate appeared from behind a tree line, 
The Queen and all in her retinue knew at once they had arrived too late. A veritable swarm of bandits milled about the yard. Who have we here? I'll take a gander, lads. The Queen herself is deigned to come and see us. See you? Then kill you. The strays of Sparla. Tis you who lead them. Tis you they call the Duke of Dogs. Aye, tis I they dub so. And in other pleasant ways. Prince of Pariah, State of Thieves, Baron of Brigands, and Marquess of Mendacity. Colourful titles all. Yet you omit one. Come on, cutthroat! I beg your pardon and cry foul! I am anything but common! You needn't get excited, Caldwell. Where is Lord Clayton? Sadly, my lord's no longer with us. Turned us away, you see. Denied us hospitality. A sacred right, after all. Angered the gods mightily, I expect, as he promptly met a tragic end. Fell in the well and broke his neck. I've heard enough. Two arms! Attack! Optional, eliminate Gascon. Hint, surround him with powerful units. He has a strength of 18. One round. At the beginning of a round, you can redraw up to six cards. Get rid of the cards you don't wish to play. Everything is buffed right now because of our morale. Uh, not having played this battle before, I think I'll just keep what I have. Oh, lads! What say we throw this queen a ball? Alright, before turn start, if the sum of your adjacent unit's power is higher than self, i.e. 18, damage self by 3. Alright. chance he spawns near the sky now he will last a little bit longer we'll catch them all Hmm, can't damage that guy. I'll take a shot here. Watch your heads! <coughs> Stand back! <coughs> Do some alchemical concoction! We must trust each other. Catch! Eight. Uh, we need to throw a tenor on here. Let's boost this dude.
12, so we need to have another 6 strength next to this guy. Let's... I'm a waste of time for one like me. Surrounded must mean on either side. Congratulations. Spirits willing and how, but these damn boots are killing me. I think we finally managed to do some damage. A time to sow. Mixes.
Hmm. Didn't kill the leader, but at least we did not lose. Bravo, your grace. Well played. I can't say the same for you, I fear. You'd have done better to die in battle. Bound for Lyria now, where the hangman will have his way with you. Splendid! I've ever wished to see the capital. Ugh. Take him away. As soldiers placed the Duke of Dogs in shackles, there was a sudden commotion. A messenger rushed in, sweaty, gasping for air, smelling of smoke and blood. His gaze spoke terror. Your Majesty, Graces, Nilfgaard's crossed the Yoruga. Black-clad hordes, villages burn, folk lie murdered. Nilfgaard, God help us. They march for Dravagred. Prince Willem, he can't hope to arrive in time with aid. Help us. You must. Dravagred. Blast it all. Listen close, soldier. You're to take a fresh mount. Ride hard back to your commander and say the Queen comes to repel the foe. Your Grace, begging your pardon. Our force. We aren't many. Let's send for reinforcements first. Elsewise... Reynard. I've seen Nilfgaard's trebuchets at work. Should we delay until we're stronger, they'll leave no stone standing in Dravagrad. We must ride for the town at once. As her men prepared to march, Meave climbed the manor's tower. Smoke rose in columns in the distance. As more black pillars appeared one after the other, she knew they meant another home Another barn, another mill was in flames. Tears welled in her eyes, yet they were tears of anger. Bastards. If it's war they seek, it's war I shall win. Reynard, prepare to ride! Card acquired. This card has been added to your army and can be found in the command tent. Me, Rivian Broadsword. In the command tent, you can change Meave's equipped weapon, thus changing her ability. To do this, select Meave in the upper left corner of the panel and place one of the available cards in your deck. First bandits, now this. Misfortune does indeed come knocking twice. Hmm. In hobnail boots, tramping upon my land. Nilfgaard shall regret. I swear on all that is sacred and blessed. Alright, so our quest takes us this way. We have quite a bit to do in the region here. There's quite a bit to do in this estate yet, even, so I think we shall investigate nearby, see what can be seen. Around or through treasure chest there. Exploration could get a bit finicky. Suddenly, Meave's force found itself marching straight towards a Nilfgaardian company. 
to the Queen's surprise, the invaders did not immediately assume battle formation. They proceeded instead in her very direction without a sign of panic. The man leading the Nilf Guardians was clad in rich robes. He exuded pride and the scent of musk. I am Traherne Vardifir, Your Majesty. I was asked to present Your Esteemed Grace the ultimatum of the forces of the Empire of Nilfgaard. The envoy cracked the seal on the scroll, unfurled it, took a deep breath, and began to read. I, General Ardal Ebdahi, demand the immediate and unconditional surrender of Lyria and Rivia. Elsewise, I will burn down every city, town, village, and temple, place all your subjects in chains, and your armed men, defeated and captured, I will hang along the roadsides as a warning to all others in the barbarous north. As the final threat echoed in Meade's ears, the envoy put away the scroll and stood waiting for her answer, a mocking smile on his face. He allowed himself this insolence, believing the immunity accorded diplomats would shield him from any form of royal ire. Uh, we're about to see about that. Hmm. You've had a day. His Excellency speaks true. We Nordlings are barbarians, without exception, answered the Queen. Though her voice was calm, most of those listening shuddered inside. We neither hold nor honor the standards of the civilized world. Among them, the immunity of envoys. At the... Eliminate Trahernvar Vidifir. Use your leader's ability. One round. It is a puzzle. This is savagery! Barbers! Do attack an emissary! 30 armor. The combined power of the escorts. Looks like he has no... Oh, he's passed. So it's purely our actions that will determine this one. Alright. So Reynard's ability to give charge to units of the depleted order will be good for the wagon. We need to buff this guy's armor. So off the top of my head, maybe we use the arbalist for the killing shot. Let's try this. I'm a waste of time for one like me. Oh, Lyrian Lummoxes. Nice. We must trust each other. Aye. Move 
move a card in your deck to the top and strengthen it by three, then trigger all allies' loyal abilities. Majesty is exceptional. Maybe should have done the arbalist, but. We should have done the arbalist. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. <laughs> All right. My lady, your majesty, you must stop this. Try again, although I think I was definitely on the right track there. All right. This is savagery, barbarous. Do attack on emissary. Yes, Wagenberg, great first play. Then the regiment drummer. Again and again and again. What is charge? Oh, number of times an ability can be used. Very good. We must trust each other. Ours is not to reason why.
Her Majesty is exceptional. Give me a time. Hmm. specific order to play these things in. Abolista, your command. Still not quite right. Is late again. Discipline shall bring us victory! My lady, your majesty, you must stop this! Ah! 
All right, there we go. The envoy's escort crumbled beneath the onslaught of Meade's Lyrians, who grabbed the emissary and brought him before their queen. Robes torn and head blooded, he no longer exuded imperial pride. Your grace, what would you have us do with this pompous ass? Well, clapping him in irons could definitely have some repercussions down the road. Well, as could killing him, of course. But maybe we can use him as a bargaining chip. I have no idea how that will fi factor in mechanically to the game, but I think I we him take him prisoner. I want him iron collar and manacles. To the capital we shall take him. And in the castle dungeon, he shall taste of northern hospitality. The envoy's jaw opened, but no sound, no protest came forth. The queen's irate stare drilling into him, he simply swallowed raw. Traherne Var Fatifir, usually silver tongued, remained utterly silent the rest of the way to the capital. Not a lot of spoils from that, but we do have a prisoner. Now, I can only assume, and we're about ready to wrap it up for today, but I can only assume that these weird out-of-the-way treasure chests can be accessed as the map opens up later, or something. Not entirely clear on how those work, but... So she had a long sword, now she has a broad sword. Damage an enemy unit and all other enemies with the same power by four. Then trigger loyal abilities. That's pretty sweet. We're starting to get quite a few resources. Get some new combat units. It's so expensive though. It's a prerequisite. We'll just get it. It's expensive. do some deck building at the start of the next session, I think. Any quick looting we can do. There's a few things down here. Um, yeah, let's grab some of this and then explore the rest of the estate grounds here. travel. So 
some map markers. We'll come back and end right here. Looks like there's a possibly a puzzle encounter. Nilfgaardian camp. That's fairly ominous. Some morale boost. Trying to rebuild some of our funds here after making that first big expense, but I think that'll really open up our deck building options for standard battle encounters. to find up here. Yes. Alright, so we've at least access to one more treasure chest. Probably just another Gwent multiplayer card, but yes. Uh, I don't think there's any other markers in this area. Not really. Alright, we'll make our way back to that inn and determine if that is a simple story choice encounter or if there's an actual puzzle card game encounter. If the latter, we'll just end the session. If not, we'll resolve it quickly. Quick encounter. My lady, the toilers formerly under Lord Clayton's service wish to join your army. In a few hours I can teach them which end of the spade to point at the enemy. It's simply a matter of coin. We're going to need recruits to make cards, so I think spending the money right now before I think about it too hard is a good idea. Not sure I missed these supplies before. Great! Good stopping point. And that will do it for today's Thronebreaker episode. Thanks for watching, and uh, hope to be back at this next week. Try and make this at least semi-weekly, somewhat regularly. But again, thanks for watching. We will see you next time.